In this break time app video, we're going to be looking at an app that is really simple uh, but has huge implications for interactive learning in the classroom. We're going to have a look at a QR Reader app. Now, funnily enough, the app is called QR Reader and it is a free one on the App Store. Uh, and bear that in mind because that's something that will probably come up a bit later. So QR Reader for iPad. Now it's a very simple app and uh, that's what's quite good about it when it comes to using it in the primary setting. When it loads up, the first thing that it will do is go to this screen which opens up the camera of the iPad as you can see here. I can tap on the screen to focus the camera uh, and that's about it really. The idea is that you use this as a scanner for QR codes. So if I bring the camera along here and point at my QR code it will recognize that code and it will take me to a website in this case. As you can see here, this takes me to the BBC Bite Size website where I can learn about range. So it could be as a teacher, you're creating these QR codes and distributing them around the classroom so that children can independently learn about things or in fact top up their learning if they need to. So that's one way of using QR Reader, just a simple QR scanner using the camera. Um, I should point out at this point, before we go any further, that when you do scan things on this particular app, it will bring you to the web page and you will also have some adverts along the bottom. Now this is something to bear in mind if you're going for the free version, uh, or, or any free version I suppose of, of many apps, is that you will have adverts and that's something that you'll have to manage in the classroom. Now if I hit the back button at the top left here, this will take me back to my QR code scanner screen. Um, and I'm just going to show you some of the other features. So if I go to the top left and go to these three bars, this will bring me down a drop down list of all of the things that I can do with this particular app. So I've got the scanner itself, uh, and that's the screen that we've just been using. I've then got history. So this stores everything that I've scanned. So if I go here, it'll show me all of the websites that I've been sent to by using a QR code reader, which is quite useful. We come back here, the next one down is Creator. Now we're going to have a look at that in a second, it's probably the most important one. Scan and Share is one way of scanning something and then sending a QR code to somebody else. Uh, and the settings are pretty obvious, that's to help you uh, change what's actually going on on the particular app uh, and something to explore. And the help guide is, is obviously there if you need it. Now we're going to spend some time looking at the Creator. And when I tap on the creator, it will show you all of the QR codes that you've created in the past. Now, I've done three. Uh, if I want to make a new one, I press the plus. This will show me all of the things that I can attach a QR code to. So, I can attach a QR code to a website. And that's what we just did. If I scan a QR code and it takes me to a website, then that is attached to that particular website. I can do it to a phone number. So, this is more for um, iPhones and things like that where you would scan a QR code and it automatically rings someone. Not so useful in the classroom. Uh, a text or note uh, you can add your attach your QR code to. Um, a geolocation, so in other words it will take you to a particular place in Apple Maps. Um, an email address, again pretty simple, as soon as you scan that QR code it will open up your email browser and automatically put that email address in there for you to contact. Um, and the same with the next two really, two different contact cards and finally SMS messaging. So the SMS messaging is probably something that you might not use in the classroom but then again if you do want feedback from uh, children or if you want them to be able to uh, contact you or send you a message in a safe and secure way this is actually something that you might want to look into using. The one that you're going to use the most however is the top one, the website. If I tap on there it's very simple. All I do is type in a website address that um, that I'd like to direct my students to. Now I can double tap on the cursor there and it will bring up a paste button if I've copied an address. So you don't have to remember all of your website addresses. Just for ease, I'm going to go ahead and do www.google.com and I'm going to press create. 
That will then instantly make my QR code. You can see it becomes the top of that list there. Now, if I tap on that, it will bring up a load of different options. I've got preview, share, rename and delete. Now preview takes me to the website so it just shows me that this particular QR code works. Um, I've got rename which allows me to rename the QR code rather than calling it just website. I could call it Google or so on and so forth. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tap back on there. I've got delete obviously to get rid of it but probably the most important one is share. If I tap on share it gives me a load of different options. I can mail the QR code to somebody, I could message the QR code to somebody, I could post it on Twitter or on Facebook, I could copy the QR code, I could print it. Now this is obviously a really useful trait within this app, easy printing of QR codes. You could send that to your printer straight away. If I slide across here, we also have the option to save to your photos or open in. So these are two really good options. If I save to my photos, that will then just become a picture as part of my camera roll, which is really useful because you can then put your QR codes in other apps like Explain Everything or Book Creator. You could even put that QR code into an art app, for example, and have it be part of the artistry.